Our offering uh, this morning is for R World Renew, and that is, for those of you who may not be aware, our denominational organization that uh, seeks to uh, do development work and spread justice and the love of God uh, through that work throughout the world, uh, both here at home and abroad. And uh, they are responding to COVID-19 in a variety of ways, and I would encourage you to check out their website, worldrenew.ca, and you can find out more about their efforts uh, with regards to COVID-19, but also uh, all that they do. Uh, there's an excellent message from their director uh, on the webpage there as well that you can check out, and I would encourage you to do so. Now let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we know that today is not only um, a day where we are commemorating the 75th anniversary of uh, the liberation of Europe, uh, but also, Lord, it is a day when we celebrate mothers as well. We are so grateful for our mothers, not just those who are our biological mothers, but also those who are our spiritual mothers, who care for and nurture and love the people around them, regardless of their blood ties. We know that Mother's Day can be a difficult day for, for some people, for many people, especially this year. Uh, when people are isolated from one another, but also, oh Lord, it, it, it can be so difficult for people who, who wanted to be mothers and never could, or people who feel judged for their choices not to become mothers, or for those who are mothers unexpectedly, or for those, oh Lord, there are so many things that can make Mother's Day so complicated for so many people. Lord, we acknowledge, we acknowledge and love all the women of our world, regardless of whether they are physically mothers or not, whether they have chosen to be mothers or not, whether they have tried to become mothers but could not, whether, whatever their circumstances may be, Lord, we lay before you the, the women in our lives, and we thank you for them. Lord, we pray. We pray not only for them, O oh God, but we also pray for, uh, for the countries of this world. Lord, as we look back and we are reminded of the victory in Europe 75 years ago this past week, uh, we are reminded that the forces of darkness in this world are very real. And we are reminded of that not only in the form of soldiers and Nazism and, and uh, all of that, but we are, reminded, uh, we are reminded of that also in the circumstances that we face every day. Oh God, I was hearing this week, and, and you of course know uh, far more than I, but I was hearing this week that it may not be possible for us as churches to get physically together for months to come still. And Lord, that is so hard and so sad. But yet at the same time, we do so in support of our health care system, in support of those who are vulnerable in society, in su support and obedience to our government leaders whom you have put in place. But Lord, we long for the day when we can get back together. Father in heaven, we also we also look at our circumstances and we are so grateful that really and truly we do not face the same kind of persecution that many in this world face. We are not being persecuted particularly for our faith. Oh, certainly there are things that we disagree with that the government does or that uh, there, are, there are things that we face in, in very real ways in our workplaces or wherever we go where our faith is shunned. But by and large, we here in Canada do not face the danger of losing our lives because of our faith. 
We do not face the reality of torture because of our faith. And yet we know that in many parts of the world, that is still very much a reality. Today, O oh God, as we dive into the martyrdom of Stephen in the book of Acts, in our, uh, in our message and in the scriptures, Lord, we pray that you would open up our hearts to understand what martyrdom is and what being faithful to you, O oh God, entails. Lord God, may we be encouraged to share our faith to the point where we are truly sacrificing for you, O oh God. Father, we pray, too, that you will guide us in all that we do. There are, there are creative ways that people are reaching out and helping others in, in this day and age. We think of those who are writing encouraging chalk messages on the ground, those who are visiting, uh, visiting folks shut in at, uh, at uh, nursing homes and doing so from outside the windows. We think of those who are making masks for people to wear. We think of, uh, we think of many, many people who are doing all that they can to help out in this time of need. And we ask and pray a blessing upon them. And we, we ask and pray that you will help us. If we are floundering in, in how we can serve the community, how we can serve our neighbors, Lord, please help us and inspire us in that. And for all of those who are uh, within our community who are struggling with illness, Lord, we pray that you will comfort and strengthen them. We thank you, O oh God that so far we have not had any um, confirmed cases of COVID-19 in our congregation, Lord. We know that's not because there's anything particularly special about us, oh God. Uh, we're just grateful. We do know, oh God, that there have been uh, people within our broader community, friends and colleagues and co-workers and, and others who have indeed gotten COVID-19 and even succumbed to it. And we pray for comfort for those who are mourning, for comfort especially for those who are mourning and cannot get, get, get together to, to comfort one another, to give one another a hug. We pray that you will encourage them. And Lord, we pray too for world renew in their work throughout this world. Lord, please receive our tithes and offerings. May they be a pleasing aroma to you. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.